Why is the magnetic field at a point near the center but outside a current carrying solenoid is zero? In diagram, we have a solenoid, an insulated metallic wire is owned in a shape of helix. Uh, this is the insulated metallic wire which is owned on a cylindrical core and uh, I be the current which is flowing through the solenoid. These are the two ends of the solenoid and the dotted horizontal line is the axis of the solenoid. Axis of the solenoid. Now uh, I be the current which is flowing downwards through each turn of the solenoid with respect to front view. S and N are the magnetic pole which are induced on the left end and right end of uh, the solenoid and this is a magnetic field line denoted by violet color and that magnetic field line will be a closed magnetic field line uh, and it has direction from south pole to north pole inside the solenoid. We consider a point P on the axis of the solenoid at P magnetic field B will be acting from south pole to north pole and uh, this is the direction of magnetic field lines. The violet color magnetic field lines will have this type of direction. Inside the solenoid it has the direction from S pole to N pole and outside the solenoid it has the direction from north pole to south pole and this is magnetic field line which is a closed line which is a closed line which is almost straight line uh, inside the solenoid. This is another magnetic field line which is drawn in the lower portion of the solenoid and that will be a closed line and it has direction from south pole to north pole and north pole to south pole outside the solenoid and inside the solenoid it has the direction from S pole to N pole, south pole to north pole. This is another magnetic field line which is also closed. It has this type of direction. This is magnetic field line. X and Y are the two ends of the solenoid and this uh, cylindrical coil is known as solenoid. The magnetic field lines, the magnetic field lines follow the longitudinal path the magnetic field lines follow the longitudinal path of the solenoid. The magnetic field lines follow the longitudinal path of the solenoid inside so that so they must go in the opposite direction in the opposite direction outside the solenoid in the opposite direction outside the solenoid. Each magnetic field line is a closed line which has direction from south pole to north pole inside the solenoid and outside the solenoid it has it is directed from north pole to south pole. So they must go in the opposite direction outside the solenoid so that the lines can form a loop. So we can draw the diagram of solenoid again. This is the cylindrical core on which and this is the axis of the solenoid on which and uh, this is a closed loop or uh, closed uh, magnetic field line. X and Y be the two ends and this is magnetic flux or magnetic field lines, magnetic field line which has direction from south pole to north pole inside the solenoid and it has it is directed from north pole to south pole outside the solenoid. This violet color magnetic field line is, uh, is a, a loop, it can be termed as loop. The volume outside the solenoid is very large, is very large as compared to the volume inside the solenoid. The volume outside the solenoid is much greater than the volume inside the solenoid. This volume is uh, what 
the volume outside the solenoid v0 is the volume outside the solenoid and we can denote the volume inside the solenoid as vi vi is the volume inside the solenoid this is the volume inside the solenoid volume of space inside the solenoid in this case uh, v0 is much greater than vi V0 is much greater than VI. V0 is much greater than VI. Hence, The magnetic field induction or magnetic flux density, magnetic field induction or magnetic flux density. So this is what magnetic field line or magnetic flux number of total magnetic field lines passing through an area normally that is magnetic flux. And if we consider magnetic flux density which is B, phi B divided by A means magnetic flux divided by area and A is the area of the space outside the solenoid. The magnetic field induction that is the magnetic flux density which is B equal magnetic flux divided by area where A is the area of the space outside the solenoid. Magnetic field induction or magnetic flux density outside the solenoid is greater than is greatly reduced is greatly reduced because magnetic flux is divided by the area of the space outside the solenoid which is very large also the field outside must go to zero the field or magnetic field induction outside must go to zero as the solenoid gets longer the field outside must go to zero as the solenoid gets longer in order for in order for the total number of magnetic field lines magnetic field lines for the total number of magnetic field lines to be conserved also we can consider that b0 is the magnetic field induction or magnetic flux density outside the solenoid magnetic flux outside the solenoid magnetic flux means number of field lines passing through an area normally divided by area outside the solenoid area of the space outside the solenoid therefore b0 equal phi b divided by a naught b naught is equal phi b divided by a naught where a naught is the area of the space out, outside the solenoid so b naught is equal to phi b by a naught which is magnetic field magnetic flux density outside the solenoid magnetic flux density outside the solenoid again So, if we draw the diagram of solenoid, this is the axis of the solenoid and if we draw a magnetic field line, magnetic field line that is a loop, we can draw another magnetic field line and they have the direction, uh, this type of direction. So, this number of field lines is magnetic flux or phi b and v0 is the area and A0, uh, V0 is the volume and A0 is the area outside the solenoid and VI and AI are the volume and area inside the solenoid. Again, BI means, BI means magnetic field induction inside the solenoid is phi B divided by AI. Magnetic flux divided by AI means uh, area inside the solenoid. Phi B is flux outside the solenoid and phi BI is the flux inside the solenoid number of field lines inside 
the solenoid bi equal to phi bi divided by ai so if we divide b naught by bi we get phi b divided by phi bi into ai divided by a naught it is incorrect we have to correct this phi b divided by phi bi it should be ai by a naught so phi b divided by phi bi bi by v naught multiplying the areas by the length of the solenoid here vi is much less than v naught means volume of uh, volume inside the solenoid is much less than volume outside the solenoid therefore v naught is much less than bi therefore v naught is approximately equal to zero as compared to bi hence we can say that magnetic field induction outside the solenoid is zero